What's up everybody, this is Eric from Collect and Reflect. Today is October the 27th. It is about 7 p.m. here on the East Coast. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is releasing at midnight. So we are headed over to our local GameStop. As we've done in the past for midnight releases to go ahead and make sure that we pay off the remaining value of our pre-order and get our pickup ticket so that we know what group number we have when the midnight release actually happens. So that'll be at about 11.45 to midnight today uh, at this same location. And the main reason we're doing this right now to pay off the the game and get our group number is because there is a pre-order bonus of a steel book here at GameStop and that is while supplies last. So if I've got a later group number, there's a chance I might not get it. So hopefully we can get a early enough group number that we're able to get that pre-order bonus and unbox it with you guys. So see you in there. All right, everybody. So we're back in the car. We did go ahead and pre-order Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. If we get, we're getting it for PS5. Uh, we went ahead and just paid that off. So that we can get our group number so that we know what our place in line is going to be later when they actually do the full midnight release and as an added bonus this location in particular other locations might be doing this as well so check that out they are going to be doing a little 1v1 tournament in the rust map of modern warfare 2 so if you're familiar with the original modern warfare 2 for ps3 or xbox 360 or wherever you were playing at that time that was one of the best maps to really just have like a grudge match with your friends i have so many good memories of playing that game and that map specifically with my friends back in high school so i'm really excited to check it out and kind of relive some of that at this tournament that's going to start up at about 9 30 and it's going to be a great way to pass the time so the main reason i wanted to go ahead and get that pre-order secured and paid off was so that i could get my group number i'm i'm officially 11th in line overall so i'm assuming that's pretty much going to be the first group and I'll, i'm going to get that steelbook they went ahead and wrote steelbook right here on my receipt so i don't i no idea how many of these are going to have so if you are picking this up hopefully you get your steelbook if that's what you were looking for and without further ado we will be back during the tournament film a little bit of that and then we'll take the game home unbox that steelbook and let you know how it is see ya Alrighty, things are kicking off here at the GameStop. Only a few people here in line right now. I think I'm I'm like the fifth person in line. So I'm number 11 overall to pick up my item later on. And it's looking good, having a good time out here. A few people hanging out with a cooler and some pizza. So, you know, just bringing back the days of actually going to midnight releases, waiting for things to come out. It's, it's pretty fun. Yeah. So everybody go in, keep your number in mind. Should be a number on there. Go ahead and start lining up. Um, we're gonna get oh, everybody in here he just shortly, yeah. and honestly, Saturday, we'll get through everybody here in like 10 Saturday. minutes, if that. Yeah. So yeah, spots don't matter. Spots don't matter. 17's way back that way. Stand right there in the middle. Try to get some of y'all out of the game. All right, ready? Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Let the man go. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good night. Okay, so back in the car, after waiting in line, we got our stuff. Everything went pretty smoothly. So we got the game, got it on PS5 for us. Got our very cool steel book, which we'll Unbox later, and what I didn't know we were gonna get was this poster. So we will definitely check out the goodies at home, unbox that, and uh, talk about how everything went. All right, everybody. So we are back at home. We are gonna go ahead and just unbox the game, the steel book, and take a look. I haven't even seen what's on this poster yet that they gave out for free for being at the midnight release. I assume people picking it up in the morning might get the 
posters too if they are still in supply. But I got my steel book and that was really what I was after today in addition to the game. So I'm gonna unbox this, pop the disc in, and start downloading. Let's take a look at the actual disc. I got this for PlayStation 5, like I mentioned before. Probably some glare there on the disc. There's the front of it. There is the back of it. And we'll probably take another look once I get it open. Just gonna pop it open with a key, break that seal in the plastic. Got that open. Always love the feeling of taking off the shrink wraps. Okay, throw that on the side. So there's the game. Inside, as we expect, just a ad for Warzone 2. There's the disc. And I don't know if there's any other goodies in here. I'm not gonna show any of the codes or anything because I want to redeem them since I got the game. But yeah, so there's the game. So now we've done the game, the Steelbook. It's really nice. So the cool thing about the Steelbook is you know, you do get the game, get regular game case to throw on your shelf. You've also got the actual Steelbook. So you can put the game in here if you want or you can just store the Steelbook separately, keep it sealed. I'm going to go ahead and open this up so we can take a look at what's inside and show everybody. If you're on the fence about maybe getting the Steelbook or pre-ordering or, well, too late to pre-order since the game's out now, but if you were thinking about heading out early tomorrow to try to still get a Steelbook. Alright, got the shrink wrap off. And I think there's other locations that did have a steel book as well, but GameStop was the only one that I, I saw advertising it. Wow, okay. I'm glad we opened this up because we got Task Force 141 there on the inside. Really, really, really cool looking inside of this steel book and the outside forms. That really awesome helmet from the game. So those were the games, or that was the game in the steel book. Let's take a look at what's inside the poster. Okay. Take off this rubber band. Ooh, I tore the edge a little bit. I'm gonna try not to do that again. Just keep rolling this up. Okay. Whoa, this is a very, very large poster. I mean, this thing is massive. It's just the cover of the game. But I mean, I think it looks really clean. This is a nice night. This is nicer than a lot of the posters that are usually given out. With the exception of some of the Nintendo ones that have had really good quality where there's like something sticking out of it. It's like on a really nice cardstock. But it's just the size and glossiness of this. Like I have to stand up to really show you how tall this is. This is nearly as tall as me. And this is just a great, great poster. All right, well, I'm super glad I have that. I'm gonna try to roll that up without damaging it. And that was it. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy us, always, you know, give a like, give a comment, subscribe if you feel so inclined to do so. And hope you're enjoying Modern Warfare 2 if you're playing it. And if not, I encourage you to go out and get it. It's supposed to be great. See you next time.